I said earlier that there's nothing complicated about Prince 2, but that there is a lot of it. The approach I've taken to help you learn what you need to pass the exam is a layered approach with lots of reinforcement through repetition. I base all the procedural descriptions on this process model and reference the elements back to the official manual's numbering and the exam syllabus's numbering. I'll take you through the overview of these elements shortly and the details in the rest of our chapters together. This first view is complete in breadth. It shows all the processes and how they make up stages, as explained in the next video but it lacks depth to describe the internal structure of the processes, their activities, as shown in this world map. To follow the interaction between activities, such as that between the project manager and team managers, or team members, in the delegation and execution of work, takes a great deal of explanation. And that's provided by these detailed, fully animated build-ups that explain the activities of and communication between role holders cover all seven of the top level processes and their internal activities it takes about 19 of these detailed animated maps which are provided in the rest of the course materials with so much detailed sequential and parallel process flow it's vital to have a topical or thematic view I've included 16 of these all cross reference to the exam syllabus they're highly detailed distillations painstakingly extracted from across the official manual these study aids are unique to this course and are all available amongst the various work files in the appropriate chapters for you to download. When you have downloaded them, they overcome the limitations of video resolution and provide opportunity for offline study. While a challenge to take in unaided, after we have been through them together, they are a definitive source for exam revision and subsequent Prince2 usage.